So what will happen to the crypto market next after this sell off? On January this year I told you that uh, Bitcoin has made a head and shoulder bearish chart pattern with a price target of 17,200. On October 16th, I told you that uh, we had here a triple bottom and uh, Bitcoin should go up because of that. The triple bottom is one of the most bullish chart patterns that you can find. After uh, we will go to a resistance, the price target will be 15,300. Let's play the video. Went up and then down almost to the penny if you go to buy bit here we can see that yesterday bitcoin was trading at 15,560. the buy and sell indicators that uh, you can find in the description of this video told you at the right time just before the sell-off to sell bitcoin if you are interested you can find them below i think that uh, the same will apply to Ethereum. I was writing on uh, September 3rd that uh, after the merger will go to 1160. The price target was reached but in my opinion it can go even lower to 7 or 800. This should be the bottom this time. As you know FTX filed for bankruptcy today and Sam Bankman fried resigned as CEO of the company. The company has uh, more than 10 billion dollars of debt even though Justin Sun uh, the founder and CEO of Tron promised a bailout. I think that uh, he would rather concentrate on his uh, stablecoin USDD which now depegged from the dollar. And uh, this will be the capitulation for cryptocurrencies when all those uh, stable coins like the Gemini dollar, the Binance USD, PAX, True USD, and finally Tether will depeg from the dollar because they don't have enough reserves if everyone would like to take out their coins from the exchanges, they don't have enough reserves to pay the people that will want to get out of uh, cryptocurrencies. And as you can see here today Tether depeg briefly and uh, right now is uh, trading at $1. So for now it's stable but in my opinion it will depeg eventually. If you are interested in private analysis like this one you have my Patreon link in the description of this video. Of course everything we talk here is not trading advice, is not financial advice, I'm not a financial advisor and you need to do your own research before investing because you can also lose a lot of money.